welcome. Sorry, we're, we're like two minutes, three minutes, okay, five minutes late. Sorry about that, y'all. We uh, had a very late dinner. We were just finishing because we didn't want to have to sit there and eat for any. <laughs> so. Pretty much. Uh, welcome. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome. Hey, Kimberly. Hi, Patsy. Uh, East Tennessee. We are here. We are live joining with you today. Hi, Corey from uh, South Dakota. Janice. Hi, Eldridge's. Eldridge fam watching from Michigan. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, E fam. And we got fruit flies all over. Thank you guys so much for uh, jumping on our live here. We have got a insane story for you guys that happened today, which we'll be sharing in just a little bit. Hi, Miss, uh, Missy. It's, yeah, it was quite ridiculous. Marcy had something happen to her at the store today, and y'all are going to be furious about it. It was, yeah. To be more to come on that to be continued but we're also going to be doing cooking today we are going to be cooking blueberry muffins and what else blueberry muffins the bananas aren't ready just blueberry muffins we're going to be making blueberry muffins so y'all put your chef hats on i don't appreciate that you're first of all you bought yourself a 45 ounce you bought me a 30 and then you drink mine and yours i just had a drink i thought it was water <laughs> no you didn't <laughs> You saw me dump it in there. No. Mine was 98% No, nope, don't even. I don't care. You're this lying. This is how much the ice is in there after... <laughs> after drinking it? After drinking it. Alice, hello, sweet family. Hey, Alice, thanks for jumping on here. Hi, Susan from Mississippi Gulf Coast. Denise says, how much water is in the pond? Uh, there is water in the pond. We got about an inch and a half to two inches of rain over the last two days. If you haven't seen our new video, after Will this is done, go watch it. take off your hat? Why? It's covered in dirt. Oh, and an ant! There's my friend. <laughs> no, um, go, go take, go. So yeah, I, uh, wow. They're gonna another, think I just woke up or something. You have uh, another hat somewhere. I know, I'm gonna have to go get it because nobody wants to see me like this. <laughs> So, uh, I was saying something. What was I saying? Yeah, we got, we got two inches of rain. So there is water in the pond so far. It's holding the water. Um, so there's basically a foot of water in the whole pond, but the deep spots obviously are full of water too. So in the deep spot, it's four, three feet deep and everywhere else it's about a foot deep, but it's doing good. There will be a video coming shortly on the update of that. Um, Hey, yeah, thanks everybody. Hi, uh, Patricia from Central Illinois. Uh, Carmen says, how's your weather? Nothing but rain here in Canada. We had two days of rain. It was sunny before that, and it's sunny now, which is really nice. What's up? Um, Corey says, hi, Maverick and y'all from... Marquette. Marquette. Missouri. Um... Hi, Alice. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Token. We're just giving it a couple of minutes here for people to join on and jump on and everything. Dalen? Dale. Dale. Dale Foster, Colorado in the house. Brooklyn, are, are hi you from the Kansas. One who says no. In the house? There was a comment that one live where somebody said, I don't know, Georgia in the house or something and now I think it's funny. <laughs> guys, go down to the comments. Where are you from? We're uh we want to know where Michigan. are you guys from and what time is it? What time is it and where are y'all from? It is, we're in southern Oklahoma and it is 8.38 p.m. right now. Um, hi, Becky. I'm a new subscriber. Welcome. Thank you for joining with us. Hopefully uh, you don't mind crazy because that's what we are. <laughs> um, I don't think that their name is Dale. Oh. They're a girl. I mean, Daily? Dalen. Daily. I oh my gosh, sorry. I'm so sorry. That's sorry. We that's both my bad. suck at um names. Names. Crandall told me to put my phone on Do Not Disturb and I forgot. And she didn't. Golly. I'm so sorry, Facebook. Okay, okay, here we go. Denise says it's Rhode Island at 9 30 p.m. Dolor uh, Dolores, South Carolina, 9 39 p.m. Crystal, Dakota. Hi Tina. Welcome. Canada, 9 30 p.m. Janice, 9.39 p.m. Carmen, 9.30, 9.30 p.m. in Canada. Nellie, Massachusetts, 9.40. Indiana doesn't have a time. Oh my gosh, Susie. I, I, that's funny. So everybody, like all the top first comments were all the East Coast. This one's Colorado. Susie says Colorado, 
That's funny. Tina, Vancouver Island, BC, 639. Okay, so I think Tina's the furthest uh, west that I've seen so far. And what, what time zone is that? Where? Vancouver. Uh, west Coast. Mountain. Yeah, West Coast. Did I say East? I said West Coast. East Coast, everybody commented from the East Coast yes. first. Yeah. Now the West Coast is Vancouver, Canada. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, I would assume she's in the West Coast. Time. Tishamingo in the house. She's Tishamingo. probably actually in the Canadian time zone. The Canadian time zone and the U and the U.S. time zone are the same. I know, but I don't know what they call it in Canada. Yeah, I don't know. What do they call the time zones in Canada? What do we have here? We have East, just East Coast time. Mountain daylight. Mountain standard. standard. Mountain daylight. No. Central. Central. East. East. West. Huh. I think it's actually Pacific. I don't know. Yeah. I need to go back to history school, I guess, is where they teach that. No, they probably um, don't teach it. They probably time. don't. <laughs> Pacific time. Okay. Okay, she's on Pacific time. So you're, well, unless you're an Australia watcher, which I haven't seen anybody from Australia jump on yet. Uh, the, the notification has to get to them. The notification, <laughs> the notification has to get to Australia. <laughs> uh, hi, Irene, Toronto, Canada, 940. Uh, Zanesville, I don't know if we've Ohio. Ever had this many people from Canada on here. I know, that's true. There's a lot of Canadians on here. We're grateful. Hey. I don't know if they You know, hey. my favorite Canadian movie, which this might offend some people. I don't know if it would or not. I hope it doesn't. My favorite Canadian movie is Strange Brew. My favorite Canadian TV show is Heartland. Is that Canadian? Yeah. Really? It takes place in Canada. Oh, I didn't I'm know I'm a diehard Heartland fan, and I have been since I was like mm, 15 years old. So. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Strange Brew. Anybody seen Strange Brew? It's a great movie. It sounds no, strange. You, oh, it's like Napoleon Dynamite. Oh. Or what's another one? There's a couple of movies like that, you know? <laughs> Tina says, Marcy, that's such a great show. It is. It's cute. And it's clean. And it's fun. Uh, Brooklyn says it takes place in Alberta. Yeah. Canada. That's right. Alberta, Utah. Canada. <laughs> and it even has a little Canadian thing at the end. Eh? Like it's filmed in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. What, like the Canadian flag or something? Yeah, like to show that it's like from there. Okay. Hey, New Zealand, Christine. From I told New you the notification Here we go. had to get to the them. The notification had to go across the big old blue ocean and it finally made it to our our uh, our friends over yonder. Three B Homestead from Oklahoma. Hey, welcome. I I can't explain why that notification took so long. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't really know. Um, should we get started? Should we start making this? Yes. Or do you want to tell your story first? I don't know. I felt so bad for Mars. She like, ugh, I can't go into it. We'll go into it in a minute. Do you have the recipe? Yeah, I do, but my iPad's dead, so it has to stay right here. Do we not have a water? Flip it over. Ay, ay, ay. Use the bananas to hold it up. We're doing some Jerry rigging. Because we can't go over there and grab a bigger cork. I mean, I guess I could. Excuse you? Excuse me. Okay, there's a longer cord for you. Thank you. I you guys are in for an adventure. I don't know if we've ever baked together. Yeah, there's too many chefs in this kitchen already. <laughs> oh, this is so much better. I'm so glad we So did much that. gooder, yeah. <laughs> Anytime I've wanted to look at the recipe, I have to go clear across the whole island because for some reason we said we would never use anything over. There's an outlet right here. Why don't we put that kind in? I don't know. You guys, do any of you guys have those outlets in your house where it has the USB and USB C ports built into the outlet? We have one. just one. We have one over there. It is the nicest thing ever. Absolutely the nicest thing ever. In fact, actually, I think Barb, did Barb send us another one? 
Yeah, we got one right here. We have one right here. Barb sent us. This Ooh, is what this I'm talking bird? about. Y'all see that? So you got your normal plug, and then it, you can see in between the two plugs, there's a USB and USB-C. So yeah, I need to put this in over here. It's so nice because then you don't have to have um, like a power box. Oh yeah, look at that. So what the problem is, is I built this with a narrow box. So I'll have to cut out the back of the box to put this in, but we should be able I see, to. I knew there was a reason you didn't put it yeah. in when we got it in the mail. Yeah. Well, we used, we put one of them in, but we do need to put the other one in. So I guess we'll be yeah. doing that next year or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm not wrong. <laughs> I know. Terry says, hello guys, I'm glad to see you, uh, you tonight. I don't always uh, hate your lives, but I, Wait, uh, hold they on. hate my lives? I'm glad to see you tonight. Oh my gosh, wait, the comment is leaving. I don't always hate your lives, but I but I'm I can see what I did this time. Have a good night. Sorry, could not understand that. Okay, they don't always make our lives. Oh. Yeah, there must have been a typo in there or something. <laughs> but they watched what they could tonight. Oh great. Alright, well good night. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, Crystal, I got a quick question. Do you guys have any actual animals on your farm? Yes. Are you ready? Colonel actually discovered he can name them all except for the ducks. Um, because half the time I forget to tell him that the ducks have names. So we have Waffles. He's our pig. And he's pretty cute. And yep. then we have Goose. He's our dog. And he's dirty. Um, more <laughs> dirty than the pig. And then we have uh, East South Georgia, and she's a goat. And then we have Carolina, and she's a goat. And then we have Callie, and she's a goat. <laughs> if you missed our last video, I literally went through, went through all, all of them. them. Yeah. Callie, Coda, um, Troop, and Stormy. They're all goats. They're pretty And Domino, cute. our turkey, that's probably going to be disappearing soon. Thanksgiving dinner. Um, he's not nice. And did he get you again? He's just... He's mean. He just always is trying to get you. Yeah. Like the other day, Troop got out and I was trying to pick him up and the fence wasn't on. So he like ran next to the fence and I like kind of pinned him against it and like picked him up to put him back in his pen. And um, aren't we all proud of me? I would not have done that a year ago. And Domino tried to get me from the other side of the fence. I know. It was so messed up. And he got mad. <laughs> Teresa says, and Domino, he's kind of the stinker of the bunch. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, and then we have a bunch of chickens. The problem is, is I like Domino. Like, I love going outside oh, and hearing the gobbles. Like, he's so vocal. He gobbles, like, almost nonstop. I like, get so cool. Is he just worse right now because it's breeding season? I think he's just worse because I don't other know turkeys. why. Because he's a Tom. Wonder... If you watch all the other channels, like, everybody's Toms are always aggressive. It's like they're they're nice and cute when they're little, and then they hit a certain age, and, and they, they just, just the switch flips, and they're just wild. I'm sure it would help if we had hens. I don't know. I don't think it would. I don't know. Yeah. But so it doesn't. It's okay. We'll 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 probably end up keeping him. Right now, all the animals are together on the same fence. That will change as the pond fills up, and we're we get done with some of these dirt work projects. Everything will get re-separated. He'll probably stay in with the ducks. The goats will be off by themselves. Yeah. So, and then we have, and it won't matter. We have Sean, yeah. and we actually lost our duck, Emerald, like a month ago, which is really well, sad. It's more so, like two and a half months ago now. So we're building her a nice pond to commemorate her. Yep. Um, if you haven't seen those videos, go check them out because they're pretty cool. Um, and then we have Lightning McQueen. He's a duck, and his girlfriend, her name's Sally. Sally. Oh, yeah. Because Queen and Sally from, from <laughs> She the has movie. the peppered head. They you both know? do. No. Really? Yeah. Only one has the peppered head that looks like McQueen. Um, and then the other one Maverick calls her Emerald number two. <laughs> um Emerald number two. Yeah. And then the other one, I haven't seen her. Is she still sitting on those eggs? I didn't yes. see her today. Yes, she's okay. still sitting on the eggs, but I did candle the eggs, and I'm not very hopeful. I don't know why. If they weren't fertilized, they should have been because they, the ducks have all been, I don't know. Not Something's not. weird. But, but we do have animals. They're a lot of fun. Well, yeah. 
Hey, I'm seeing, uh, I, I noticed this comment from Carla Vision. She says, I hope the boys like the Hot Wheels. She said that she sent us a package for the boys, I guess, Hot Wheels. Did you ever see it? I haven't been to the post office in a week. Hey, uh, we haven't been, yeah. Okay, Carla Vision, sorry. We haven't been to the post office, I guess, in a week. So we'll go and check that Actually, and see if it's Actually, it's been there. longer than a week. Uh, we haven't been to the post office since like the third. The second. Okay, so it's probably in the post office. So sorry, we have not been there and got it. <laughs> so, we'll, but they will I'll, because I'll go tomorrow. My grandma and grandpa gave Maverick a Hot Wheels car a couple of days ago when they were here, and he has not stopped playing with it. Absolutely loves it. So yeah, Maverick loves loves the cars and stuff right now. Um, oh, okay. I'm seeing. A, let's see. Terry says, "Sorry for all my typo errors. I never said I hate any of yours." I love watching your videos, loving watching you and the kids. Keep up the good work. Sorry about the misspelling. Okay. Yeah, you were right. <laughs> I got you. Yep. Okay, Marcy's pulling out the ingredients. Hi, Tammy from Maryland. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, Tina says, good job, Marcy. You're becoming a real farmer. Slowly. It's true. Slowly? If you guys go watch our videos from a year ago, but you go watch them two years ago. I mean, Marcy is night and day difference. I still won't get any chicken coop though. She's, st I don't care. I won't either. It's still night and day difference. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. There's cinnamon in this? Yeah. All right. Trust the recipe. I guess. Okay, we'll try. Grandma has this thing about recipes that he like is so hesitant to try new things. No. But then I just have to tell him what cookbook or what recipe this comes from and he's like oh okay because there's certain people that cook we like their recipes that he like trusts their recipes like obviously joanna Gaines. like i don't think we've ever made something of hers that's been bad right yeah i think maybe one of her things we made but we usually like they usually get really a lot of the recipes get close and then we tweak it a little bit and to match what we like and then it Works great. Yeah, like we liked her Tuscan chicken, I think, but I took out the sun dried tomatoes. I think that's the recipe. Oh, yeah, maybe so. But, um. Crystal's asking if I'm still in the doghouse, which I saw a really funny comment. That was from today's video. So a lot of people don't know what we're talking about. I don't For getting know. For getting the tractor stuck, so I was going to be in the doghouse. Uh -huh. And then I saw somebody comment on the video and they were like, um,. Does Goose have a doghouse? Because you're going to have to build him one if he doesn't have one so you can stay in it. And then I replied and I was like, actually, if I'm in the doghouse and Goose sleeps in our house, then that means that the doghouse is in our normal house. So I guess I'm in the doghouse. <laughs> you like my thinking? I love it. You know what? I thought it was pretty good. You're so smart. Oh my can gosh. We, I need a mixer. Can we just use a bowl? Let's just use a bowl. Oh, good. That makes her so loud. Everybody on here will how exit. How about you get me a hand mixer? Yeah, but you got not, two of them. Not for Mother's Day because I don't want that for Mother's Day. What should I get Marcy for Mother's Day? I already know what I want, so I'll just write you a list. Okay, good. Okay, we need some That's butter. Easy. If you can get the butter, the yogurt, and the milk. Yogurt, butter, yogurt, milk. Yeah, butter, yogurt, milk. How much butter? So, um, welcome to the Eldridge Fam where we have, um, oh my gosh. three sets of measuring cups, but yet I only have a one third and a one fourth because I found half the measuring cups out in our car today. Paxton was playing with them. And Krenna let him go outside with the measuring cups. Yep. <laughs> One day when we have a nice kitchen, no, we'll have a nice measuring I cup. I have a nice kitchen. I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> I uh, have a nice kitchen. And that's the only have. reason these haven't been lost is because they're stuck together. <laughs> yeah, no, those ones are like the best. They because really they nice. can't un, un be done. Be undone. Crystal says, you can sleep in the goat house, Mr. Smarty Pants, LOL. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, here's a good question. Joshua is asking, would you guys get another dog buddy for Goose? If so, what breed and would you get another male or female? Well, we talked about this the other day. I'll give you my two cents of what, um, oh, 
Rita says, measuring cups for Mother's Day. Um, I the just bought some last week. Yeah, she got some last week, but they're gone already. Um, would I get another dog? I don't really want to get another dog. Um, the exception to that rule would be a livestock guardian dog. Like, I could see us eventually getting one of those. But if we were to get another dog, we actually talked about this, it would be another lab. It would be a female. Goose is a high dollar, purebred, registered, all of that shenanigans hunting dog. If anybody wants a hunting dog. So we talked about it. Like, if we were to ever do it, we'd probably buy the equivalent of a female hunting dog. And then we would breed them and sell High purebred, end. purebred highland hunting dogs. Yes, and it would yeah. be very like it wouldn't just be your. They're not your pet. I mean, they would be your pet, but they're not like. And it wouldn't they be would like go to a working households kind of a thing. Yeah, That's it's not like a back here. door operation. Like you like can post them on the website, like the kennel website and stuff yeah. too. So if we ever like did, to that's sell what registered about. puppies, basically. I don't really have that much interest in doing it, at least right now. So you did when we got Goose, though. I did, yeah. Yeah. But then I got him, and it's a lot of. Crandall didn't grow up with any animals at all. Well, and it's different because he's he's a trained dog. He has a job, and keeping him sharp on that job is tricky to do. Yeah, I would love like a small. Or dog. Marcy wants an Australian, a mini Aussie. The thing about labs is labs have a dander that I can't touch. You've actually, well, okay, yeah, that's true. Like, I can't ever pet goose, but like, our friends bring over their cute little Aussies and I do just fine with them. So, like, and your mom had Aussies. I, yeah, I grew up with Aussies. So, like, I think it's more of the dander of the lab because even if we bathe them and stuff, I still can't touch him. My, the dog I always wanted growing up <clears throat> was a, Border Collie. I always wanted a Border Collie. But then when we were looking into it and stuff, I thought that they were not great um, with kids because they're hurting dogs. If you, okay, Marcy's giving me the stink eye. But no, they, they a lot of times they'll nip at the kids' ankles and stuff like that. And oh, yeah. Just like, yeah, Australian Shepherds do too. Right. All my shirts had holes in them when I was a little kid because my dog would hurt us. But she was the sweetest dog. Like, yeah, they're super smart. I've never smart. met, well, okay. I was going to say I've never met, like, a mean Aussie, but I have. <laughs> so, but, yeah. And the thing is, though, Goose is, like, the best dog. Like, he is a really good dog. I Especially just wish, with kids. Yes. I wish, I, though, I was able to, like, love on him and love stuff. Love on him and touch him and, like, give him the rubs that he wants. But I just, like, can't. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah, Jennifer says she has a toy Aussie. They're fun. The toy Aussies are fun. My sister's got, uh, it's not a toy. That being just said, a mini I don't Aussie. really want to do the puppy stage ever again. See, and I can agree with that. Like, they're stinking cute, but oh my gosh. Well, maybe yeah. well, maybe in three, in five years, we'll change our minds with that. Right now, we get so little sleep anyways at night that having to deal with a puppy Would is be too awful. much. Yeah. So... Maybe once our kids are grown and... And I would send the dog to training like we do with Goose. Like, I'm so grateful that yeah. we did that. Yeah. Okay, we need two eggs. Um, and then I'll go grab the... Water. Two eggs. They're right there. Oh, perfect. Good, because I went... <gasps> because they're supposed to be at room temperature. And they're at room temperature. We're yeah. golden. Um, okay, preheat oven to... um. All right, we're getting started on the cooking portion, I guess, y'all. Um, yeah, I don't think Marcy's allergic to poodles. Poodles are pretty hypoallergenic. What did you want to set? Four twenty-five. Sorry. Wow, that's high. Yeah, I'm looking. Keep talking. Hold on. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh, she says uh, one of the Hot Wheels she got is a motorbike. <laughs> We're gonna have a hard time getting that away from Maverick. He loves anything dirt bike. Everything dirt bike. He had this, he had, uh, you guys have probably seen it, his toy dirt bike. It ended up breaking, so I'm gonna have to get him another one. He's got, they're like a, not a die cast model, but kind of similar to that. And he, he wore it to pieces. 
He broke the chassis, the frame, the engine mount. Literally just drove that thing into the ground. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was, he loves it though. Okay, um, actually 350. Okay, that sounds way better. Because that's for the jumbo muffins. Oh. We're, we're going to do standard size. 350? Yes. Okay. You ready? Yep. Preheat oven to whatever we just did. 350. Whisk, whisk flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and cinnamon in a large bowl. We don't have any flour. Yes, we do. Oh my gosh, you gotta tell them what the boys and girls are doing. It's mostly Harvey. So, you guys, you guys know we have these, um, will you bring one over here? We have these little containers that we keep our unlabeled flour, sugar, that kind of stuff in. Yeah, the problem containers. And, um, Maverick, when he was, like, just the twins' age, he would go into the we didn't have this pantry. We just had a cover or like a door. He'd go in there and he'd pick up the buckets and he'd come and he'd set them by the counter and he'd climb up onto him. Like a stool. Yeah. Well, then I bought him a stool that like collapses and he can like bring that wherever. Now he has one in the bathroom, one in the kitchen. I use it in the pantry too. Well, this week Harvey's been going and getting these buckets and putting them on the ground and then climbing up on him and he's even tried to stack the buckets to get up to higher. Get higher but like it doesn't matter if I'm here in the kitchen like he tries to just he wants to see and he's a little bit shorter than Pax where Pax can just like lift his head like this and see up over Harvey's not quite there yet so he hops up on this stool okay do you want to measure while I um yeah read it to you here's your spoon one teaspoon of flour? No. Did you know the proper way to oh my gosh. measure flour is to scoop it with a spoon and then put it in there? Okay, how much? I'm getting it. Hurry. We're gonna it's run three out of cups. Flour. It's no, you don't scoop it. I'm probably gonna run them. And then level up. That's not how you level. No, that no, that's not it. That is that is it. No, it's not one no why. Nope. Look at your knife blade. It's, it's angled. Flat. No, it's not. Yeah. That's why you do it the <coughs> other way. Okay, my knives growing up are on a spot. I know ours aren't though. I've messed it up like three or four times. I mean, it's not that much flour, but like it could still make a difference. Yeah. So. Okay, so once we add three cups of flour, we're gonna do three teaspoons baking powder. Oh, uh, I'm being way too precise on this. Um, baking is precise. Cooking is guessing. Is that true? Leave a comment. Yes. I think it's true. Okay, this is baking powder, which we actually need more of, by the way. Three? I don't know why I told you. Just three? Yes. We're done with the flour now. Yes, we are. Wow. I had that out for two seconds and made a horrendous mess. Now I know where Maverick gets it. From you! Here, you can put this away too. It goes up in the baking box up at the top. With the food coloring that you can never find. And um, one fourth teaspoon baking soda. Make sure you do it right, Mars. John says, I was searching for fitness and ended up here. Um, we're going to teach <laughs> you how to, this is a post-workout snack. Can you grab this? We're making please? blueberry muffins. For breakfast. Right? No, for post-workout. For post-workout. <laughs> Will you tell me how much salt? One cup. One half teaspoon. Half a teaspoon? Half a or teaspoon. One and a half. I didn't say one and a half. You I said, said one half, half yeah. teaspoon. What, what does that mean? One and a half? I'm just saying it's not a very smart way to talk when you're in. No, nope, that was a good, right way to talk. Jennifer asks, how's the pond? Uh, we already touched on it a little bit. Um, it, it, is, it does have some water in it. There'll be an update coming shortly on it. 
Okay, what's next? Um, that's it. How come this turns off so fast? I don't know. Okay, butter, vegetable oil, sugar. Whisk, flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and cumin. And cinnamon. How much cinnamon? Half a teaspoon. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Okay, then we need melted butter, oil, sugar, eggs. Okay. Five tablespoons of butter. All right. Do you want to use butter? Yeah, I guess. I'm excited for this. I love blueberry muffins. I know you do. Do you? Yeah, I do. Because... When we first got married, that we ate a lot of those. I thought you turned my phone on. I did. Disturb. I did. That means she called twice. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mom! I'm on here. <laughs> um, when we were like... What would you say? Up until we had the twins, we used to buy the like Betty Crocker. Yeah, yeah which are pretty mix. good. They, I, Credo really likes them, and I'm fine making them for him, but they give me really bad acid. So. Okay, vegetable oil, third cup. Two large eggs, room temperature. What if I don't want to use vegetable oil? Then use applesauce. I'm serious. I'm gonna use applesauce. I don't trust you. Okay, wait, go in the comments. Can we substitute applesauce for oil? Alright, because we can. Applesauce for oil. Anybody? Anybody? Oh, I guess it's too late. Where am I supposed to put this? In here. Put the butter and the egg in the liquids. Okay. So we got our butter, our oil. That cup's gonna be really hard to clean. Why? Um, okay, we need the two eggs put in there. Like, we need we the have sugar. like a whole tablespoon of butter. Oh my right gosh. Now. Two drips. Two drips. Okay, I'll grab the Here's our Rhode Island red eggs. One. You like crunchy biscuits, right? Somebody will get a little surprise. Wow. These eggshells. Did you get eggshells everywhere? No, of course not. You did, huh? I'm not a rookie. Saw them inside of the bowl. Okay, that is how we make that. Okay, we need. Um, I would be end up switching spots. I need to whisk this or something. Hold on, we need one cup of sugar. Oh We're yeah, missing the sugar. We need sugar. You never told me how much. One cup. Did you know that? Right? Jennifer says, those are the Costco bowls. We have the same ones. Well, good to know because Harvey actually broke one. I don't know how, but he broke one. So we are he due like for a new set. He hit it perfectly. But I honestly think it's because you left it outside for like three weeks. Yeah, maybe so. And it got... Got weakened? Weakened. All right, I'm mixing, I'm mixing, I'm mixing, I'm mixing. Jennifer says, that's why you crack eggs in a separate bowl. It was a separate bowl, separate than the flour. It fell in there, huh? No, I got most of it out. The gross thing is... I'm just Riz it rebuking. Rebuking? <laughs> <laughs> is that whisk? What happened to Marcy? I don't know. She was supposed to do the cooking. I was supposed to do the reading, but yeah, it's whisked. But now we switch spots again. Dump it in there. That's what the instructions say. Oh, this is going to make a lot. Yeah, that's good. Okay, is that it? No. It's not really mixing together. I know. 
I'm nervous about this next one. Three. Okay. Therese says, I just looked it up, and yes, you can substitute applesauce for oil and equal parts. So if it calls for half a cup, it's half a cup. I told you. I told you. How long have you been cooking, Marsh? Can you have me a thing? Not as long as me. That's... Yeah. Well, that just, like, instantly changed consistencies and... Wait. Worked out now. So, yes, I was right. You were right. So there's yogurt in these blueberry pancakes. To keep them moist. Really? That's all it says. That's what the recipe says. Interesting. What's all y'all's favorite blueberry muffins or muffins? <laughs> what? What's your favorite blueberry muffin? Okay, yeah, that was a dumb, <laughs> dumb question. I guess I'll rephrase that. How many of you guys like Costco muffins? And which one is your favorite? I absolutely love them. Uh, I like lemon poppy seed. And then, or poppy seed, poppa seed, pop, poppy seed. And I like Wait, the chocolate one. poppy seed? And actually the blueberry one's pretty good too. Just the banana nut is a no-go. And what other flavor is there? My favorite. Oh, the cinnamon one? The pumpkin. Oh, uh, the pumpkin one is pretty good. Dang, they're all just all pretty good. <laughs> My favorite's the pumpkin fall flavor. Yeah, the pumpkin one's good. But there is like a, an apple cinnamon that I don't like. Yeah. Okay. Not pancakes, sorry. I don't mean pancakes, I mean blueberry muffins. Um, Crandall does make pretty good pancakes though. Okay, I, I, I don't know why I just got like... booted. I got booted to the sidelines, y'all. So if you want to see my beautiful face again. The last time we gave somebody else the vanilla besides me, they spilled the entire bottle. No, I think you spilled the entire bottle last time. Your son spilled the entire bottle. Oh my gosh, Maverick. Pistachio? They have pistachio muffins? Huh. Oh, um, what are we doing for muffin tins? I'm using muffin tin, I guess. Do we want, no, do we want to use the disposable or do we want to use the rose other one? You didn't melt the butter all the way, did you? No, I did. No, you didn't. I can tell. I did. You didn't. It's, it's cooled off no, and hardened. They, <laughs> you didn't melt the butter all the way. Great. I ruined the whole No, it's going to be fine. See the eye roll? Wait, you missed a step. No, I didn't. Oh. What step would I have missed? I don't know. The sugar part. There was an eggshell in that. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure I got it out. Hey, we did good. That's yeah. the whole recipe. Oh, I just hope you eat the eggshell. Well, you mess this up. Filling up all the way, sprinkle with coarse sugar, bake at 425 for five minutes, then keep the muffins in the oven and reduce it to 350. I didn't mess it up. Are you sure? I'm positive. Okay. Go down and read the cliff notes for the standard size pan. That's for the jumbo pan. Reduce baking time to about 20 minutes. 5 minutes at 425 and 15 minutes at 350. Oh my gosh, y'all. That's why we double check. That would have been fine. No, they would not have turned out. Well, at least they... It's all right. It's all right. I'll keep you in line. I'll keep you in check, Mars. Am I supposed to whisk this or stir it? I don't know. I would guess it's probably like folded in. I hate that word. Nobody knows how to fold in anything. No, it says use a whisk to get rid of any lumps of flour. Avoid over mixing. Fold in the blueberries. Okay, so get that looking pretty good and then we'll... Uh, Add some blueberries here. Your I feel like my whisk isn't strong enough. I know, that's a dinky one. Well, I did get it from Dollar General. I just feel like um, it's not very good at getting all the um, flour. Well, we're going to use like all these blueberries. Yeah, I know. 
I only got them for this. Oh, really? Well, I figured we so, might have a few left. Marcy got... Okay, now fold these in. Marcy got blueberries, but they're all really quite small, which is perfect because they'll... Uh, There'll be know. more blueberries per bite. Yeah. Okay, Marcy, you got to tell them a story. Oh, I was going to do that after while we're waiting oh, for this to cook. Okay. If that's okay with you. I mean, it's not really something I want to talk about. It was awful. Okay, it wasn't that bad, but... I mean, it kind of was. It was rude. It was rude. <laughs> All right. See those baby blueberries? There we go. There's six and a half cups of blueberries. Okay, if you need some muffin tins. Shucks, they're two different sizes. Are we just gonna spray this and dollop them in here or what? Okay, so that's what I was trying to talk to you about. We can use the disposable paper kind or we sure. can use the silicone kind and then we don't have to use this. How many is this gonna make? More than that. More than 12, I would guess. Well, how high does it say to fill them? Oh, this camera is so slow. Yields 12, 14 to 15 standard size muffins. That's good. Really? That's good. That's really good. Dang. What? No, I don't know. It looks good. What? I said it looks good. Filling it all the way to the top. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do, if you're okay with this. So we have these Probably silicone. Not, do I get a choice? <laughs> yes, you do. You can either, um, do the dishes or uh, do the dishwasher. Okay, here. Thanks. I'm just gonna make sure these are clean. Well, they are clean, but if they got any other stuff in them. You should always do that with all your bowls and stuff. That's a lot of blueberries. We gotta spray them. No, they're silicone. I promise you, we should spray them. Shucks. Good thing I only did one. I promise you, you should spray them. Okay. Okay. Oh, I just forgot to spray that one too. Oops. I'm a rookie. What can you say? Jennifer says, now I want blueberry muffins. Hey, send us your address. I guess we'll mail you some. <laughs> I'm nervous about this, y'all. Oh, no. That was so close. I don't know if y'all saw that. I just about dumped one out on the, on the board. So, how was your day today? Well, started out a little rough, but it got real good real quick once I got the tractor out. For those of you that don't know, that was literally today. So Crandall, if you haven't seen two days ago's video, Crandall got, or today's video. Today's. Today's video, Crandall got the tractor stuck, the skid steer stuck in a big quicksand <laughs> thing. Not even a little bit. You'll have to go check that out, but, um, I went grocery shopping today with Harvey and Paxton, so we haven't really been together at all today. Yeah. So.
But yeah, I got the tractor out and then uh, we decided to start ripping down the fence between us and the neighbors. So Maverick and I spent a couple hours working on that and we got it all, well, we got half of it. It's halfway all ripped out. We've got half more to go, but the other half that needs to be done is like, we gotta go cut down a bunch of trees and stuff like that. So it's, it's a little bit bigger of a project, but we got half of it down, which was great. Jennifer says, I just finished watching the video before I came on the live. Well, thanks for watching it. Yeah, seriously. I didn't and know if you guys were going to like it or not, but it was thanks. what happened. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for all of you guys' support on Facebook. We hit 14,000 today, which Oh, was yeah, that huge. was huge. Marcy uh, had her first, well, our most viral video yet. She posted. Our real. Yeah, it was a reel. Uh, she posted it on, well, we posted it on both. On Facebook, it got like 10 views. On Facebook, it got a half a million views. Yeah, so huge round of applause for Marcy. Oh, thanks. I th but on YouTube, impressive. it didn't do very well, so. It was us kissing in the rain? The one yeah, us kissing in the rain. kissing in the rain. If you saw it, it, it did very well. How so. many of you are from Facebook? Are any of you from Facebook that saw that video and decided to join? Because I think, like, a couple hundred people came after watching that, right? Like... Yeah, over 800. Oh my gosh, a thousand people came from just that video? That reel? Well, I said over 800. Over 800. <laughs> not quite a thousand, but not. So if you're, if you're on Facebook and you came over from that, leave a comment. I wanna, I wanna see. And now I gotta watch the comments a little closer. We're almost there, y'all. This is making way more than 12, I feel like. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14. Okay. But, like, it. this one's not full all the way. That one's not full all the way. But it's fine. I'd rather have more than a giant muffin for our kids. Yeah, that's true. Quantity over size, in this case. Yeah. It makes 40 little muffins, but we don't have any little muffins. <gasps> that would be cute. Our kids would love little muffins. They would. Where they're like the bite size. We should get some pans. Some little baby muffin pans. This is much better than having to cook two batches though. Did you say cook two batches? It's I know, I hated that as a kid. Like when I made cupcakes and it was like, and you just made 14 cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like this sucks. All right, last one here. And I know that they say like baking is a precise thing, but let me tell you, eggs are not precise. So That's true. That's very true. Okay, make sure we give this to one of the boys that don't got no blueberries in it. <laughs> no one. Oh, I <laughs> we have more blueberries. I guess we can throw that in. Hi, Vicky. Just give it a swirl. There we go. All right. And now let's evenly space these so that they will cook, we even. cook evenly. Okay. Let's see if we had anybody comment. Okay. Good. Did you do it in the bottom? Yeah. It's ready to rock and roll. Set a timer for five minutes. Woo! Okay, there we go. Next time we make these, we're going to substitute the applesauce or the oil, the apple. Substitute the oil for the apple. Golly, substitute the applesauce apple for apple the oil. Sauce with the oil. Golly, that was hard. Okay, let me quickly clean up the kitchen. Wow, that's a first. She doesn't oh usually clean God, up when she cooks. I need to clean the kitchen today. 
Did you? Did you? Yes, I did. Did you? This is his pan. That was dinner. We would literally made it right now, like ten minutes ago. It's okay, like an hour. it's been like an hour, but still, it was like ten minutes ago. All right, we do we need to set a timer for five minutes? It's nine twenty-four. So at nine twenty-nine. Set timer for four minutes and thirty seconds. I think it was like four minutes and fifteen seconds. Four minutes and thirty seconds. Counting down. Oh, it's counting down. Crandall left me. So it's just me here. Okay, well, um, we also, Crandall and I are having a big debate if we sell vanilla again next year. So if you didn't get one last year and are interested in getting one this year, comment down below because it is really time consuming and we don't want to do it unless enough of you want it. So comment down below. Um, Crandall's being silly. Crandall, you're being silly. No, I'm being serious. I don't do silly. You're good. You're good, Dad. Add vanilla pudding to the mixture. I don't know if it's the same person that's commented that more than once or if it was someone else that commented it. Um, but I've seen that I saw that comment um, about adding chocolate or vanilla pudding to make it moist. How much do you add? And do you make the pudding? Tina's asking if we can ship our vanilla to Canada. I don't know how the customs is on that and all of that. We could ship you. You would. I would ship it to you without empty without the vodka. Yeah, without the vodka. Like you'd have to go get your own bottle of vodka and fill it up. Yeah. Which is doable. We could probably do that. Tina, send us an email. Um, yeah. Yeah, that might be something doable. I Like we said, without the, without the liquid in it. Um, what, else, what news do we have? I feel like we have some Just news. because we don't want to get in trouble for bootlegging. Is that what it's called? Well, I'm pretty sure it's not illegal in Canada to have alcohol. <laughs> I don't know. It'd just be... I don't know what customs is like. And, you know... I don't really want to learn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much do you charge for a bottle of vanilla? We actually don't have any right now. We're sold out. We did a... Uh, we, well, no. They, uh, we already talked about it. I oh, asked, you did? Okay. I, I was wondering if, why there were all the comments. I, was, I asked if um, if anyone would want one. Okay. Yeah. They're $30? No. They were 26 25 26 25 25 and then shipping. 25 Yeah. I feel like I think we sold a couple hundred of them last year. Uh, we're trying to decide if we're going to do them again this year. Um, I should just not talk when Crandall's here. Why? Not here. Oh, did you already see all of this? Yeah. Oh gosh. I was like, Crandall and I are having this big debate if we should sell vanillas again. Who didn't get one, or who would want one? Because we don't want to do it unless enough people are down for it. True. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why everybody's commenting. That makes more so. sense. Yeah, kind of random. I didn't know what to talk about. You left and I got nervous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so. Tina said she'll buy one if, if we sell them again. Okay. Um, I'm, are we ready to talk about today? Okay, yes. Let's hear Marcy's story. It's just embarrassing. Yeah, but more for her. Not even. Okay, like. Okay. okay. I mean, it's pretty bad. Okay, so I went grocery shopping today, and we had to go to three stores, and it was just me, Paxton, and Harvey, and Paxton and Harvey are, were so good for so long in the store, and I'm really lucky, um, but I don't know what it is. These kids hate Aldi, like, hate it. And they'll do great in every store. Today they had a, like kind of a rough time in Target, but like for the most part, they do great in the store. Like they don't really have a problem. Um, Colonel's shocking me. I'm but trying to get the rest. They of go it. into Aldi and they lose it like instantly. Like they start pulling each other's hair, and they just and it's not that they're sitting like because Aldi has a shopping cart that they can sit next to each other. Well, like. 
they have that at Sam's Club too and the boys do fine. And it doesn't matter if I go to Aldi first or if I go to Aldi last or if I just go to Aldi by itself on a random day of the week. Like, they hate it. Like something, and it can be. There's our five minute timer. It can be a different store, but they, like, it won't be the same store. It'll be Aldi, but it'll be a different, a different location. location. Yeah. They still hate it, and I don't know why. So today I take them in, and they start, they did good for the first, like, three minutes, four minutes, and then they lose it, like, and I'm basically, like, holding one against my chest, pushing the cart with, like, my hip while Harvey does something, and then they switch, and okay. So I get done. I'm going through the checkout line, and I had my hair, like, braids, and it looked all cute. It hadn't been pulled out yet as soon as we got out to the car. Paxton grabbed right here and pulled all my front pieces of hair out of my braid. Um, but, like, my hair was cute. I didn't have any makeup on, but the lady <laughs> at the checkout. I don't know why you would ever say this to anybody. <laughs> and, like, the boys, for some reason, went completely quiet, like, checking out like they did just fine. Um, and she looks at me, and she's like, that'll be blah, blah, blah. And then she goes, oh, I feel like you look. She didn't say no, like. No, she said you look the way I feel. Yeah. Yeah, you look the way I feel. Like implying that yeah. Marcy looked I, like she was a hot mess. <laughs> I don't think she's meant hot. <laughs> True. <laughs> she just meant mess or exhausted. But I was just like, uh, thank you? Like, I had how do you, even How do you respond? <laughs> like, I didn't think I looked that bad, but I guess in her eyes I looked that bad. Yeah, definitely not something you would say. So, uh, I just, I don't know. It's fine. It's whatever. But, yeah. I came home and I told Crandall, I was like, this lady at the store said this to me. And he was just like, Oh. I was like, you gotta show that one alive, because that's bonkers. Like, why would you say that? Some people just don't have any filters, I guess. I don't even know. I don't know. Because you didn't look bad at all. Like, it wasn't... Well, and I, when I came home, my hair was five times worse than it was when I went, because, like I said, Pax just grabbed right here, and all of my, like, I have all these little baby hairs, and so when you pull them, they all just, like, slipped right out of the braid, and so then the braid went all loose, and... It just looked really bad after that, but like up until that moment, it was fine. Do yeah. I have flower on my nose? You yeah. are a flower. Oh, thanks. Another thing that happened today is Colonel and I, before we left, um, something happened to my rain boots. If you guys have missed our <laughs> our videos lately, um, Colonel makes me go outside when it's raining and it's muddy and he likes to have me walk around. And I go to put on my shoes and they're always gone. And I can never find them. I don't know them. why. I don't. <laughs> and they're Harvey always and Paxton gone. are the worst walking away. <laughs> okay, shoes. they are really bad. <laughs> but 90% of the time, Crandall wears my, like, muck boots outside. And so today yeah, I was like... Mine got war plum out and I haven't bothered to go buy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and so today I was telling him, I was like, if I see some, I just have to buy some. Well, I got these cute little, like gardening ankle boots that are rubber and I'm really excited about them because I got them for eleven dollars yeah they were a good deal go grab them show everybody I'm sure they don't see them um I had two designs to choose from black and white stripes or these ones and I chose these ones because why would I want black and white stripes but they had matching gloves and I'm just saying, it took all of my willpower not to buy the matching gloves. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I would say you don't use gloves, but you actually have been using gloves. I know. So I'm impressed. I got impressed. to the car and saw my dirty gloves. I even tried them on and they were like nice and fitting. But they, I felt like my hands would just sweat through them because they were super Tina cute. says, LOL, those rain boots like to go in the pond. Yeah. Look how cute they are. Not I'm bad for $11. They're not bad at all. Do they fit? They're size eight. They probably fit you, try not. Yeah, <laughs> Why? You want to lose another pair of shoes? <laughs> no, $11, I'm like, I'll go get you the black and white shirt. I, ones. I wouldn't wear these. They're useless. They're muck boots without the high, high sides. What are you supposed to do with them? Walk on the grass? 
Well, then why don't you just wear regular boots or I shoes? The only other pair of shoes I have are my white ones. Yeah, true. Oh, wait, no, they do, they I have fit. two pairs of tennis shoes, but like yesterday when I was wearing my, um, when I was pouring, I didn't have anything to walk out in the rain. So basically what I'm saying is all of my shoes are uh, sandals, heels. I'm not meant to be out on the farm. That's what it comes well, you gotta down get to. You better <laughs> equipped. We got to get you better cooked. Hey, thank you so much, Bray Bray, for the super chat. Thank you so, so much. Oh, wait, what's their name? Bray Bray? Yeah. Bray Bray. Hey, um, Donna says, aren't you supposed to turn the oven temp down? Yeah, I did. I did, yeah. I did, I did. If you saw me get up, I actually got up right before the timer went off. So that's why it was probably a little bit confusing. <laughs> yeah, I and I think I was talking when you said um, that was the timer. Yeah. So and they are... Oh, I wanted to turn on the oven light and see what this looks like. Well, Marcy, that was a bargain. It was a bargain. I was pretty impressed. Those are looking pretty good. But, you know, I couldn't bring myself to spend the $6 on the gloves. Uh, Connie says, I got those. I got those and the flower ones at Aldi's yesterday. Did you get them at Aldi's? Yeah, I got them at Aldi's. Oh, my gosh. No way. Me and her match. That's awesome. I didn't know you got them at Aldi. Yeah, for $11. Did oh. you get the matching gloves? I got the flower. I got those and the flower. Oh they, yeah. Oh, they had flower boots too, but they didn't have my size. Did they have boots that went above your ankles? No. Guys, they're not even boots. She didn't get the gloves either. They had bras, but no. I don't. Boots. I don't need a bra. <laughs> don't have a use for that. I'm just can end up you, on the floor. Can you see Lester's post? Uh uh. We'll have to. You'll have to go see Lester's post. Why? What was it? Pretty naughty. It was just weird. Makes <laughs> <laughs> um, a little house. Hi, Marcy Crown. Just got home from RS function at the church. It was fun. I scored two dozen farm fresh eggs. Woo! Oh, did you do that thing where you like take your talents and you bid on your talents? Like your your skills. When I say talents, <laughs> I mean like your skills. And you pay with your skills. So like if Crandall has like... Um, I don't know. I don't have any skills. <laughs> I was gonna say putting in an outlet. Actually, I think it's your good your good deeds. Huh. So like, if you empty the dishwasher for me, you get one point, and if you take out the trash, you get two points, and if you did the dishes, you get three points, and then you can buy farm fresh eggs with three points. Oh, interesting. It's like a game, like an activity that people play. Kind of Ryan weird. the Rooster from Alabama sent Lester a workout outfit. Lester in pink was so funny, says Irene. Is that what you're talking about? What? I think they're talking. Is that what you're talking about? What? The I Lester yes. thing? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to go go watch that, I guess. Um, Maxwell says, hello, I just said you guys are so funny. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Maxwell. Thanks for joining. Meg says, we did a take two favorite things in exchange for two other things oh, it was fun. fun so you exchanged two things for 24 things that's pretty impressive <laughs> oh that was smart oh have you seen those um like everybody in general have you guys seen those like uh bring your favorite thing parties where like you bring your favorite thing and then you switch it to somebody uh -uh. else's favorite thing like or like white elephant yeah Kind of, but like if there was six of us in a group, we would bring six of our favorite item and everyone would bring six of their favorite item. So then when you went home, you went home with five other items. Huh. Or how, you know, the numbers. Okay, this is one of the best comments I've seen. Valerie, you have to watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that don't know, 90% of the time that's how Maverick says video. And it is hilarious. Diane, thank you so much. Diane McFeeders just sent $10. Oh my gosh, Diane, thank you so much. She says, Marcy, get your gloves to match. I'm the one at the uh, I'm the one at the expo that brought you. Oh my gosh, I can't. Yes, breathe. you're the one that the expo who brought us the oven mitts. The oven mitts, yes. Which Thanks. We're probably gonna end up using here in just a minute. And she gave us um, the kids stuff at the expo. The yeah, games. The games. Yeah. Thank you so much, Thanks, Diane. Diane. That's so nice of you. <laughs> well, I'm going back to Aldi and we're getting me some gloves. Hey, YouTube says, this. let's celebrate their first super on a live stream. Was that a, I don't know that super chat. What was the other one that we got? Just barely. 
Um, it's but it's called something else. Super chat and well, I guess that was our first super chat. The other one must have been a message or something. No, it's a. Oh wait, I can pull it up here. Yeah, it's called something different. I don't know what that I one's don't... called. The blue one. The blue ones. <laughs> oh, there we go. So thank you so much. That is so I guess nice you're getting you. some gloves, Mars. I would like seriously. She's gotten really good at using her gloves. Let's just say she's came a long, long way on the farm, from pulling weeds to milking goats. I mean, it's I've just never milked okay. Goats. Yeah, I went a little. You've I'm never a milked little the goats. Over there. <laughs> uh, oh, a sick a sticker. Oh, a sticker. The other one's a sticker. Thanks, okay. guys. Because we haven't been doing this for three years. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes. Um, I well, the other thing isn't even a farm. I've been using the gloves to help Crandall with some greenhouse stuff. Just everything outside. I used to have gloves. They used to be purple. I don't know really? what happened to them. Yeah, they were leather. We got them when, I, when we moved oh. into this house. Yeah, I don't know what happened to those. I didn't use them. Yeah, I They didn't think, disappear because of me. I have a thing about hands. <laughs> I, no, and feet. And feet. Which but, I'm surprised that you still wear your boots after I wore them. Like I said, I didn't have an option. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thing about I don't share socks or shoes, really. Or gloves, apparently. Gloves. Gloves. What about like snow gloves? Your hands don't sweat. Okay, so you're fine. Yeah, no, it's just the sweaty. And they said like work gloves. Hey, but leather like, gloves, have... my hands don't sweat in leather gloves. Well, my hands do. Yeah, in the plastic. No. Plasticky in, gloves. In, in leather gloves. Yeah, well, my hands sweat all the time. Huh. Except for when they're touching this cold counter. But. Yeah. Yeah, no, my hands sweat. I always have warm hands. We're going to have to get Marcy a shirt that says like country girl on the rise or something like that. <laughs> City turned country. I wanted to make a shirt for, um, okay, first off, let's talk about Maverick. We got to make him some more Eldridge fam shirts. We No, no. Well, yes, sure. We have to just make sure that all of my shirts match all of his shirts. Yes. That kid does not want to do anything but wear what I wear. <laughs> no. It's, it's cute. So it annoying. Cute. But, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so like. Oh my gosh, look at the muffins. I'm glad I didn't feel, they're overflowing on some of them. Yeah. Well, they're like puffing up. They're big top muffins. Um, so some shirts, like Crandall has his keeping it Dutch shirt. Maverick doesn't own a brown shirt. Yeah. He and, at least has to have the same colors. Yeah. Like, and so like, to match. so like the keeping it Dutch shirt, he's like, well, I want to, I want to wear the same shirt as dad. Well, he doesn't have a keeping it Dutch shirt. So I just said to him, he wore his cowboy shirt because that keeping it Dutch, that's a cowboy shirt, so you can wear this one. <laughs> There's what are we gonna do when all three of them want to match? Well, Harvey, we're literally gonna have to go to the the shirt making mm -hmm. store, and, and we're gonna have to get. Mm -hmm. All right, I need a blue shirt in one, two, three sizes, and I need a green shirt in one, two, three sizes. Oh my gosh! So, but luckily, we added another shirt to our thing this week when we went to the solar eclipse. Crandall's parents got Maverick a matching shirt. Oh yeah, the solar eclipse shirt. Yeah. Yeah. So he has two now. Yeah. I mean his no Eldritch three. Well, his Eldritch fam he, he counts that, even though yeah. it's a different shade of green. But it says the Eldritch fam, so he doesn't care. Yeah. Because Dad wears you wear your Eldritch fam shirt and. Yeah. Know. Hi, Cindy. So it just has to match in some sort of way. Um. So yeah, we got to get him a few more. But it's so funny. And if he if he can't wear a matching shirt for whatever reason, then his pants. His pants have to match. And not just dad. It used to be dad just wears jeans. Yeah. Now it's, is um, dad wearing light jeans light or is dad wearing dark jeans? Dark jeans? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> but then he doesn't care if he wears his pants backwards. I don't get I it. don't get that either. <laughs> or if they're unbuttoned. He just doesn't care. <laughs> okay. The kid, uh, He walks around all the time with his pants. You'll probably see it in all the videos because he goes to the bathroom and it doesn't, he can't button his pants back up, I guess. 
So he'll be walking around like, come here, let's button up your pants. <laughs> like, what the heck? Well, the thing I think is because his butt is so small that his pants fall off. So they have like the little bands inside that keep them tight. And because of that, he can't do the butt aim. But if I undo the tight bands, then his pants fall off. So it's like, I don't know which one yeah. is better to have. So like all as he switches to shorts this summer, they all have um, like elastic waistbands. Oh, okay. Yeah. His shorts do. Yeah, that's what Cindy says. Get some elastic pull-up pants. Yeah. Yeah. So like his jeans right now have the band inside, like the the kid <laughs> the kid thing. Valerie just brought something up, Mars. What? She says, now Marcy, your zipper was open on a live, so he must get that from you. Yours was open during church. <laughs> you know, we all have struggles. I guess, you know, you guys now know we're not perfect. <laughs> I'm still so embarrassed. That was so bad. I hope we didn't save that video. I hope we just deleted it. Oh, probably. We oh didn't. Oh my gosh. No, it's we still didn't. up there. Do you guys want was to go find it? Was that last week? I think that was our last live. No, it wasn't the eclipse. It would be the one probably right before the eclipse. It was two before that. My goodness. By the way, the eclipse was super, super cool. Being in the zone of totality was like bonkers. Like really different than I expected. Why? And I don't know. I don't because I didn't know how what to expect. But like <laughs> Valerie says like clipped it. Just kidding. <laughs> um no, like it was just different. Like it was, it was a cooler experience than I thought. I guess. Like the temperature. No, but <laughs> well, yeah, that too. Oh my gosh. No, but it was. It really wasn't cool. as lame as I thought it was gonna be. It wasn't as lame. <laughs> it's not, it's That's not. a terrible way to put it. Uh, Why? I thought it was gonna be lame. And it wasn't. And it wasn't. Yeah. I guess when's the next one in twenty twenty four? I mean, golly, 2045? I think it's in 2045, and it goes through. So this one went through Dallas. This next one goes through Oklahoma City. Yeah, like Orlando. The they say US. it's going to be the most expensive Disney World tickets ever. That'd be cool. I know, Have right? Disneyland and the, uh, the deal. Tina says, thank you for going live that day. Yeah, we've seen a lot of good comments about that live. I'm glad that we, uh, uh, we did it. Because a lot of people, we, I, you know, got a bunch of comments like, hey, I wouldn't have been able to see this otherwise, so thanks for doing it. So I'm glad that we did it. Um, if you guys didn't see it, you can go back and watch that as well. It was really cool. Really, really cool. You can skip to, like, the last 15 minutes of the video, though. Yeah, that's when it, like, totality actually happens. How much longer do those have? I don't know. I thought you set the timer. I didn't set a timer. You were... No, I turned off the timer. And then you got back on the thing. Yeah, I didn't set a timer. <laughs> How long are they? Donna says, I can't wait to see those muffins 20 to 30 minutes. Was it 20 to 30 minutes? Yeah. Which is a very <laughs> big time range. Let me look at them. Okay, well, let's see. I can't look back on chat. And oh see. my gosh. They've literally boiled over and chunks of them are breaking off and falling onto the pan because they over, like, over, literally over rising. Well, those will probably be pretty good. I think so. They they look really, really good. You guys are not going to want to miss this. How do we know if they're done? Um, It says when they're golden brown on top. Um, now go back up to the main, the main recipe. Oh, Cindy, we're making blueberry muffins. We just, we finished making them. They're just in the oven. We're just waiting to eat them. Yeah. Okay. Stick a toothpick, lightly golden brown. Comes out clean, muffins are done. Well, pretty are, they, are they pretty ready to no, test? No, I don't think so. I think they need another 15 minutes. I wish I would have looked at Leanne, the time. The, she says it's because they're in liners, they need to be in a muffin tin. No, the mu like they're holding their shape just fine, but they're outgrowing. Like, now, yeah, they would just outgrow and sit on top of the uh, the pan, the pan, I guess. But 
Oh, There's only true. two of them that are overfilled, I guess. Jennifer says, you're only supposed to fill them three quarters so they don't overflow. The recipe literally said fill them to the top, yep. didn't it? Yeah, no, it did. Yeah, it did. But that makes sense, like, if it's all, like, if you have your pan. But see, look, according to her picture, hers didn't, like, crest over. Puff over. Yeah. Puff up. We didn't have any coarse sugar. Hi, Tammy. From California. I made a live. Is this your first live? Thanks for joining with us. Crystal, they are expanding uh, past the top of the tin, yeah. Because Crandall filled them almost to the very top of the muffin tin. I know. I was just following the instructions. That's what I get. <laughs> we could have had five more muffins. Maybe one more. Those are pretty good looking muffins. They smell really good. Your nose doesn't work. It really doesn't. Like at all. But it never, it's always been sensitive. The only time I can smell stuff is like. I've always complained about your nose. I'm sorry. Oh, you just don't like the way it looks. I, I've never <laughs> once complained about your nose. <laughs> it's okay, I got a goofy nose because I broke it when I was being disobedient as a delinquent youth. Are you going to share your story? So, we'll go into it because why not, right? We're just waiting for our muffins. If you don't know why you're sitting here, that's fine. We're all waiting to try these muffins. Yeah. So, basically what happened is my parents were away in Hawaii. And nothing good happens in our family when my parents go to Hawaii. There's a whole huge backstory to that. But literally something bad always happens. Uh, but this time, I think I was grounded. And I went over to my buddy's house. And we were like, let's ride our bikes into town. I don't know why we were probably going to go buy some penny candy or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, we got on you, our bikes. You make it sound like you grew up in the 60s. No, they had, we had a penny candy place. Oh, really? But then inflation hit, and it was two-cent candy, which just doesn't have the same ring to it. <laughs> it's like now the dollar store is like a dollar and ten cents. I think it's like a dollar fifty in most places. It's dollar twenty-five. It's ridiculous. A I remember a dollar twenty-five. I remember when Dollar Tree went from a dollar to a dollar seven, and I was like, I got a dollar, and I went to go buy something, and like it's a dollar seven. I was like, this is the dollar store. It's supposed yeah. to be a dollar. Anyways, I digress. Basically, uh, we get. I had just got a new BMX bike. I was like, I'm gonna learn how to do back flips and front flips and spins and whatever on a bike. This is gonna be it. So I had just bought it and I was going down and I went to go do a wheelie up the curb. And I went, did a wheelie and I hit that sweet spot. And when you do a wheelie, there's a sweet spot where it's like where you're perfectly balanced. And when I hit that sweet spot, that was the first time I had ever hit that sweet spot and I didn't know what it was and it scared me. So I put my feet down quick cause I was going fast. I put my feet down. So if you can imagine if this is the bike you know, it's like tipped up. I put my feet down and the momentum, my body and my head keep going and the bike keeps going and I smash my nose right on, you guys know, handle, handlebars like kind of do one of these things and then there's a rod across it and I smack that right across my nose. Ended up breaking up, breaking my nose, and I, when I crashed, I crashed into a fence, so I got all skinned up and stuff like that. It was, it was awful. Uh, my parents didn't do anything. They didn't punish me or anything. I think that's because they, uh, <laughs> a broken nose was punishment <laughs> enough. <laughs> uh, so, okay, Marcy's gonna check these real quick. But yeah, that's how I broke my nose. That's the only bone I've broken, which, if you know me, I don't know how I haven't broken anything else. Knock on wood. How come some of those are gold and some of them aren't? Do you guys want to see these? Do you want me to take the camera over there? Here we go. Here we go. Hey, Lily. Wait, don't take the camera over there. Wait, why not? Because everybody gets seasick. Oh, well, now they're seasick anyways because they already moved them. Okay. That one's done. That one's done. Well, if one's done, then they're all done. Let's pull them out. That one's done. She's literally going to check all of them. No. That one's not done. That one's done. That one's done. That 
Boy. I'm staring at you. <laughs> Look, I'm even so good I'm turning off the oven. Oh my gosh, that's the first time ever Mars has turned off the oh. oven. Uh. Here comes the hot pad. I mean, the oven mitt. Okay, Marcy's bringing him over here. I hope she doesn't burn me. I'm moving. Look. At them. Look at those blueberry chunks. Wow. Look, you can see where. This is the one that literally, oh, they can't see. That's, the, these ones melted over the side. Yeah, do you see that? And then look at the green one. The green one, oh yeah. Holy cow. So. It says wait 10 minutes. It says wait 10 minutes, but there ain't no way we're waiting 10 minutes. Here, y'all take a get, get your nose up close to the camera there. Take a big old whiff of this thing. And imagine the best smelling blueberry muffin you could ever imagine. Okay, they probably be better with sugar on top. Honestly, blueberry muffins are better the next day too. And better, um, oh, look at that. Y'all, y'all missed that. Hold on. Look at that. It literally just plopped right out of the basket. We're going to let that sit for a second because it is a million degrees. Do we have butter? Yep, right here. Yeah, this is going to be an absolutely delicious breakfast. I'll probably eat six of them. How is it? Marcia already tried it. She didn't even give you guys her reaction. I just tried the stuff that was on the pan. <laughs> Cindy says, burnt my nose on that muffin. <laughs> Diane, I have cookies from Subway. <laughs> I actually really liked their macadamia Ooh, if white I bite chocolate that, chip. I, that yeah, was almost I, dumb. Yeah. Biting that blueberry, it would pop and just burn my face. Don't ask me what I'm doing. I have no idea. I was really surprised you did it that way. But why not double butter it? <laughs> Only double? I will triple it. Which is so funny because you don't even put butter on your bread. What bread? Like warm bread. Yeah, I do. Crandall doesn't really like eating bread, warm bread. You have like a half a slice in it. No, I will eat it warm. I eat, won't eat it cold. All right, y'all. Ready? Just kidding. <laughs> Still has the wrapper on it. Are you kidding me? Y'all thought I was going to eat that? I did. Okay. Let's try it. The only thing I can say is it would have been better with applesauce. <laughs> no, it is really good. I can't wait to eat this tomorrow. It's gonna be so much gooder. Oh, I was gonna take him to the neighbors. <laughs> to my, my neighbor. To me. To you. Oh my god. This one, all the blueberries sunk in this one. Oh, interesting. It wasn't supposed to do that. We're gonna have to, uh, the boys are gonna be so messy eating this tomorrow. The blueberries. That's fine. Oh, hot. Hi, Peter. We can, um. These things are a game changer, by the way. Reusable silicone dealios. They're amazing. They work so, so call good. Them that. Dealios. <laughs> that does almost sound bad. Oh. Everybody take a bite. Yep, yep, mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. I'm anxious to see what they taste like in the morning. Because I feel like the flavors haven't really set in. Uh-uh. Not yet. Meg says, me either. Crystal bean glow, carb, and gluten-free has its drawbacks. Yeah, no. That, that is just not 
uh, my kind of diet. I'm on the double carb, double sugar diet. You mean the container of eclairs a day? Don't tell them that. <laughs> Nobody needs to know that. <laughs> they all do. Yeah, I have eaten the last three containers of eclairs primarily by myself. Well, considering we've only ever bought four, you're mm -hmm. doing pretty good. I know. I've already started into the box of them that Marcy bought today. No. -uh. After I polished off the box this morning. No. -uh. I don't know why, but it's like a treat. They're cold and they're good and they're just absolutely amazing. I think because you can pop them in your mouth and your kid can't see that you put one in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, the kids never ask for them. <laughs> Yes, from all these, the all these cream puffs. Crandall likes us to dip them in chocolate, though. But you know it's gotten really bad because the last two we haven't dipped in chocolate, and I've still eaten the whole box. I think there's fifty or sixty in a box. Yeah, I probably had like four of the last box. Yeah. Which isn't even a serving. The whole box isn't even a serving. <laughs> Those are really good. Those are really good. I'm excited for tomorrow. I know. Tomorrow I'm going to devour them. we got to make sure Goose can't get to them. Oh, yeah. We'll have to put them all up. Well, everybody, thanks for joining us for our muffin making madness. It was pretty good. Um, if you want the blueberry muffin recipe. Uh, Oh, Cindy asked, where did you get the cupcakes? These are muffins. They're blueberry muffins. If you want the recipe, go to Sally's. I have no idea. Baking Addiction. Sally's Baking Addiction. It's her blueberry muffin recipe. So. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys on the next video or live. Yep, and go check out today's video on YouTube. Bye.